Welcome to Dandel Campus. This is the Science for Elevation module, lesson one. This lesson one is dedicated to anatomical and physiological conditions as a preparation for the surgery. The learning objectives are the following. Number one, what anatomical structures do we have to know in order to optimize the surgery? Number two, what anatomical particularities can cause complications? Finally, sinus drainage, how does it work? Sinus is a cavity within the maxilla. This cavity is covered internally with a membrane which could be very fragile. The first point we have to consider is the sinus size. According to the degree of edentulism, the size of size is different. In partially edentulous patients with some front teeth are remaining, is much smaller than the one we can find on the edentulous patient. And this is very important to be considered because according to the sinus size, the mesial wall position will be different. And this is very important when we're going to graft the sinus because in case we are not able to locate the mesial wall in a very nice way, we will have a lack of bone in the anterior part of the sinus and it will not be possible to place an implant. 